Christmas games have been a tradition in the NBA for the last 70 years. If you're a fan of the NBA, you definitely want to tune into Christmas games, as they usually feature NBA Finals rematch, superstars going against each other, and a lot of other interesting matchups. But who has had the best luck playing on Christmas? Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas to everyone! I'm Purple Prince, and let's look at who has had the best Christmas in the history of the NBA. So, the first Christmas game was played in 1947, when New York Knicks beat the Providence Steamrollers in Madison Square Garden, 89-75. Since then, there have been Christmas games every year except the lockout shortened 98-99 season. For now, there are two NBA teams who have yet to play on Christmas Day, the Charlotte Hornets and the Memphis Grizzlies. And the streak of not playing on Christmas will continue, as both teams don't have a scheduled game on Christmas this year. There are two more teams who have never won on Christmas Day. The Toronto Raptors have lost their only Christmas game back in 2001 against the New York Knicks. And the New Orleans Pelicans have lost both of their Christmas games as well. These teams won't have a chance to get their first win this year, as both are also not scheduled to play on Christmas Day. The Minnesota Timberwolves have also played just two Christmas games, but they are currently 1-1 one one, winning their last year's game versus the Los Angeles Lakers. The defending champions Golden State Warriors actually have a losing record on Christmas. They currently have 12 wins and 15 losses. This year, they once again meet LeBron James and his new team, the Los Angeles Lakers. Last year, the Warriors beat LeBron and his old team, the Cleveland Cavaliers, 99-92. Some more stats? Besides the teams who never have played on Christmas Day, the longest drought of no Christmas games belongs to the Milwaukee Bucks who haven't played in a Christmas game since 1977. But guess what? That will change, cause this year the Milwaukee Bucks are playing against the New York Knicks on Christmas Day. Speaking of the Knicks, they are the most active franchise when it comes to playing on Christmas Day. They currently have played a record of 52 games on Christmas but have a losing record of 22 wins and 30 losses, which is still the most wins on Christmas in NBA, albeit just one win above the Los Angeles Lakers who currently hold a record of 21 wins and 22 losses. A bit weird and surprising, but the storied franchise of the Boston Celtics has played only 31 games on Christmas Day, which is even less than Detroit Pistons who have played 32 games on Christmas. Oh, and you know who's the best at playing on Christmas? It's actually the Miami Heat, with 10 wins in 12 games. But you won't believe the rest of the list. The current top 10 teams with the highest win percentage on Christmas are the Miami Heat, Portland Trailblazers, Washington Wizards, Phoenix Suns, Utah Jazz, although they played in just 6 games winning 4 of them, Dallas Mavericks 2 wins in 3 games, and the Chicago Bulls with 13 wins in 20 games. As a matter of fact, there are only three more teams who have a winning record on Christmas Day. Sacramento Kings, Philadelphia 76ers and Orlando Magic. It's crazy how none of the better teams right now even have a winning record on Christmas. So what makes it so hard for all these historic teams to play on Christmas Day? Is it the additional pressure? The better competition? Well, one thing I know is important, you better be a home team on Christmas because home teams have won 142 out of 217 games. So let's talk a bit about individuals. Christmas Day has been very special for individual accomplishments as well. In 1984, Bernard King scored 60 points. Kobe and Shaq played against each other on Christmas Day in, and in 2011, the Christmas Day was the season opening because of the lockout. The best scorer on Christmas Day right now is Kobe Bryant who has scored 395 points in 16 games played. From players who are still active, LeBron James is right now number 3 on the list and has scored 321 points and he's done that in 12 Christmas games. He's playing again this year on Christmas, so there's a pretty good chance LeBron James becomes the leading scorer after 2 or 3 more games. Dwayne Wade is just behind LeBron in scoring, having scored 314 points in 13 games. He actually has the best record with 10 wins and only 3 losses on Christmas Day. Kevin Durant averages 31.1 points on Christmas and right now is number 6 on the best Christmas scorers list with 249 points. 
You would never guess who has stinked up to join on Christmas though. It's the defending champion and the best shooter of all time, Steph Curry. Curry is 3-3 three three on Christmas Day, averaging just 11.8 points, shooting 29.3% from the field and 19.4% from the three. Other superstars have done pretty well, or at least on par with their averages of the season. And on this Christmas, two new superstars will get their first state of the Christmas in the NBA. Giannis Antetokounmpo and Damian Lillard will play in their first Christmas games. Good luck to them. Good luck to all of them and Merry Christmas to everyone. Thanks for sticking with me through this video. What game are you anxious to watch on Christmas Day? What is your best memory from Christmas games in the NBA? Leave a comment below, like this video and subscribe for future NBA content. This is Purple Prince and I'm out. It's the most dumbtastic time of the year. Behind the back passes while driving through traffic and taking a ball to the hole. To the hole. Slam dunks will be making shot blocks so amazing. The three pointers from the first row. The, the first, first row. It's the most dumbtastic time. Oh, the most dumbtastic time of the year.